Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to talk about the 10 things that I love about print-on-demand. Don't get me wrong, this is not too biased because in the next few days there will be a video as well in which I will talk about the 10 things that I hate about print-on-demand. So obviously I'm still doing print-on-demand, so in overall I think the, um, the love to print-on-demand outweighs the hate. But yeah, as with everything that we're doing in daily life, there are always things that we love and that we don't love. So, but today I'd like to talk about the 10 things that I really like in or on print on demand, in the print, on, with the print on demand business. So just wanted to show you that one, which is number one. So the best free print on demand sites, because the first point is actually that print on demand is free. That means you don't have to pay any money. Yes, you can pay money. Like with everything, there are ways to speed things up and everything, but if you're starting without a, a, a big budget, yeah, or you don't have any money really, um, well, you need a little bit of money possibly, but you don't really need to spend a lot of money and it's basically free. You can start a free print on demand business, but if you then want to get some design tools and stuff, then you obviously have to get some subscriptions. But basically, if you already have a design tool, that's it. And then you can just start for free on one of these websites here or on all of them if you want to. There are also some missing here, but it doesn't matter. Just to give you an idea, the first point where I love print on demand is because it's free. And that takes us to the next point, which is number two, which is that print on demand, at least some websites have a low entry barrier. So you don't really need any design skills. You don't need any um, good preparation. You know, obviously you should get some basic education about it. But for example, you just register on Redbubble and you can start a business in minutes really. You can create your first design, upload it, and then see how it goes, right? That's how you could learn about print on demand. Um, very low entry barrier. You can basically get away with posting anything on that website unless it is uh, infringing on any trademark or copyright, which you should never do. All of your designs should stay online. They don't normally um, take any designs down unless yeah, somebody complains or unless, as I said, you, come, you you infringe any copyrights or trademarks. Don't get me wrong, I know there are lots of designs on Redbubble which are probably infringing on copyright or trademark, but that's not what this video is about. Just wanted to, in, to yeah, bring across that it has a very low entry barrier. Some websites more than others, but um, that's a different story, but Redbubble definitely has the lowest entry barrier or one of the lowest entry barriers. Now, the next point is that it is passive income. I love the idea of passive income because only passive income sources can actually make you very wealthy. As soon as you stop trading your time for money, that's when you can build a business or that's when you can actually scale up and make more money than you could do um, when you uh, trade your time for money. So yeah, it is passive like with any business, however, you need to first spend time to um, build the business. You could also spend a lot of money to build a business, then you probably have to invest less time. But like with any business, as I said, you have to invest some time. And whenever you build a business, it costs time. But then as soon as you have something set up, it will take less time. Generally to maintain any passive income source, you always have to invest some time. Should it be dividends, you also have to consider your dividend portfolio. You don't have to review it regularly. Um, really any passive income source takes some time. Um, also, if you rent a property out, you will have issues with tenants. Even if you give it to a management company, there will occasionally be questions for you. But I consider all of that passive because you don't have to trade time for money. Same with print on demand. In the morning when I wake up, and I see some sales have come in overnight and I earned money while sleeping, that's really good feeling. The next one is there are lots of print on demand websites that you can start with. Yes, you need to find out which websites you wanna start, where it makes sense for you to start, but there are websites like Spreadshirt or Zazzle and there are many more. So there is a lot of variety, a lot of choices for you where to start and um, yeah, you have quite a bit of freedom in terms of choosing which website you want. Now, the fifth point now is that you get free traffic. So websites like these, like Zazzle and also like Spreadshirt, they bring free tab traffic. So because the websites are free to use and they already have lots of people coming to the website on a daily basis, 
um, and you don't necessarily need to do any marketing, you basically get the free traffic from these websites. That's the advantage of going to websites like these instead of opening your own store, because to your own store, you need to bring traffic. It costs time, it possibly costs money. But if you use, for example, a website like Spreadshirt or Zazzle, they bring the traffic to the website and you can just already use, um, they, you, can, you can use what they have already built up. So you don't need to do any marketing. That's the good thing. Um, I'm not doing any marketing myself and I've made thousand dollars within six months of print on demand. I mean, I think that's not massive, but it's also more than many other people have made. And um, it's only to start anyway. So normally when you start to build a business and um, that normally goes, um, that normally goes up you know, exponentially. So that's just one thing. So you don't need to do any marketing. I probably would have made more money if I had done marketing, but I only treat it as a side business. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, the next point, which is point number six, is what I love with print on demand. There are lots of tools available. I mentioned you don't need to spend any money. It's basically free. But if you want to scale quicker, which I wanted to do, and if you want to build your business faster, then you can accelerate your success with spending some money on tools. Most of these tools, like the Upload Automation Flying Upload that I use, they run on a subscription basis, similar like this website here, which is Vexel. So these guys have a lot of ready made designs that you could just use as they are, or you change them in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or on any um, free design tool like um, Photopea, which might be able to use their file files or the Affinity Designer, which is not that expensive. You can just use them and change them. So they have a lot of really good designs. You can also get them to make designs specifically for you um, before they will be posted on the website. Uh, also place it, for example, similar website, a bit different they all are. But yeah, there are lots of tools available for print on demand sellers, which are also really good. So I really like that. That takes us to point number seven, which is actually that you don't need any design skills. So you could register with these websites here. Yes, yeah, subscribe, basically. They're not too expensive, to be honest. And then you could let's just take a quick look. So pricing on Placeit, um, if you subscribe annually, it only costs you $89 for the year. That's $747 for the month. And you can, without any design skills, you can create uh, designs for print on demand because it's just sort of a drag and drop and you can use their templates and just change colors and change images very easily and um, if we just have a quick look here on t-shirt designs you can already see a lot of really good designs what you then just need to do is as I said change the images you can change things out you can change colors um, and then you have a design which is ready to upload two different websites um, and you don't really need any design skills. So not a lot of training is required. As I said, you could register with one of these websites, maybe get Placeit or get Vexels or even Canva. Um, and then you're ready to go <laughs> sort of within maybe half an hour or within an hour, you can upload the first designs to these websites. Takes us to point eight, which means there is lots of education out there um, for you and free education as well. So on my channel, you find many things that you need, you know, everything that you need to start a business because I documented my whole journey from scratch. But also there are other channels. If you go on my um, YouTube channel here, you actually find the other websites or other YouTube channels that I watch or used to watch. These are really good YouTube channels. All of these are. And um, they are also the main YouTube channels. I think about print on demand and there is a lot of free education. I don't think you need any courses, to be honest. You can take a course. Um, it might accelerate your business, but um, you don't need to. Next thing is that you can just treat it as a side business. I do that. So that's actually point number nine. You can do it passively, print on demand. You can run as a side business and I do that. I run a full time. I have a full time job, but also build a side business um, in the evenings and on the weekends. So it is entirely possible without too much risk because you don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. And the next thing is that it is completely, uh, yeah, you're independent. You can run this business with a laptop from anywhere. Um, we went on holiday with a touring caravan and I uploaded designs and created designs in the caravan. So that was really great. Just shows that you can really run this business from anywhere, which is, I think, the future, decentralization. You can be anywhere and still run a business. And that was point number 10. And these were the 10 things that I love with this on this business about this business 
So let me know if there are other things that you really love about print on demand. I know there are many things that also frustrate people and I will make a video about that in the next few days or weeks. But these 10 things um, have made me choose print on demand as a suitable side business for myself. I know print on demand isn't for everybody, but I thoroughly enjoy it. I like creating designs, even just simple designs. I like to upload them. I like the feeling when I make a sale or even two or three sales or even five or six. Um, the best I had was eight sales in a day on Spreadshirt. So um, it's definitely worth doing. It's a nice profit that comes in, pays for some bills and it will build up um, going forward. It's not um, stable growth. There's always a bit of fluctuation from one month to the other, especially if you don't do marketing because then you're not really in control about traffic and everything. But I'm gonna look into that and um, marketing is certainly something I want to do going forward, especially if you're doing the marketing, then you can do marketing um, on anything really. You can sell anything, then you can do FBA, Amazon FBA, you can you can do different things, not only print on demand. But um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you liked that video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.